Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another crock pot video. We are going to be making some crock pot country style ribs. So I've got two packs of these pork um, country style ribs here. So I'm just going to move these over so that way I can give them all a good season. So we don't like our ribs saucy. So I'm gonna show you how I do them with them being more of like a dry rub and then we will finish them off in the oven with a little bit of barbecue sauce. We like ours, like I said, not saucy. So doing them this way, you get a ton of flavor, slow cook them and they're really good. So you know how much we love the Suckle Busters. So we have got the Suckle Busters um, hog waller here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take and give them a good coating of this yellow mustard. Don't freak out, you won't be able to taste it. It's just a binding agent with a little bit of flavor to go along with the hog waller. Um, the hog waller, this one has sea salt, sugar, brown sugar, chili, peppers, and spices. So that kind of gives you an idea of what flavor we're going for. So I'm gonna do a good squirt. With the mustard. Mustard and pork go so good together. This is one of the things that Luke does um, if he smokes um, pork butts or, um, you know, does like the ribs on the smoker or whatever. Um, he uses mustard. So it just gives it such good flavor. We still want to get that same flavor, but we're just going to be slow cooking them inside. So now that I got that on, take and give them all a good coating. With the hog waller and then we will get them in our slow cooker. Now I'm just going to add all of these to the bottom of the slow cooker. We're going to try to do one uh, even layer, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get them all. Squeezed, squeezed in there. So now they are all in there. We're just gonna put the lid on it, put it on low, let it cook for about four to six hours. And like I said, we're gonna finish it in the oven. I'll come back and show y'all how I'm gonna do that. But I didn't put anything else in there. Like I said, if you like yours saucy, you can add some barbecue sauce in there. You can add like a can of Coke or a can of Dr. Pepper if you want sauce. But we like ours more dry, um, like a dry rub. So the, as the pork cooks, it's gonna, um, you know, juices are gonna come out. So I'm not worried about it drying out in the slow cooker. It's gonna be perfectly fine, just like this. So we're gonna let these cook up and then I will show you the next step. So if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love double crock pot days. So this is one of those double crock pot days. I absolutely love mashed potatoes in the crock pot. I'll have that video linked down below for you guys. But this time I'm gonna try it with sweet potatoes. This is my first time doing it with sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna do this together. I've got 
three or four good size, like big uh, sweet potatoes that I just peeled, washed, and then I cut, oh, cut up into chunks. And then I'm gonna take enough water to cover them, cover them completely. And then to bring out that natural sweetness, while it's cooking, I'm gonna put in a little bit of sugar just to kind of help get it started. And then as it cooks, those natural sugars will just kind of come out. And then we're just gonna cook this on high for about three hours or just till your potatoes are tender. Fork tender and then you can mash them. Now that the ribs are all done, I'm going to take a few of them and put them on that rack with some of our favorite barbecue sauce. We love the Sweet Baby Ray's Vidalia Onion. And I'm just going to brush those on, put them in a 400 degree oven for about 5 minutes, get them out, flip them, do the same thing to the other side, and put them in for another 5 minutes. I didn't put all of them on the sheet pan because we wanted to try some without the barbecue. And y'all, they're so good. I honestly liked them better without the barbecue sauce. Um, we're just not big saucy barbecue people. I don't know. That's just how we are. But they were good both ways. And we will definitely be making these again. So while the potatoes are draining, I have got some milk in here, some butter, some cinnamon, and some brown sugar. I'm just going to put the lid on it. It's on warm, and that way the um, milk kind of starts heating up. Then I'll add my potatoes in. We'll get them all whipped together. Oh, I'm so excited about these. So once I got them all mixed together, I just kind of smoothed them out at the top. I'm going to top it with a good amount of that caramel syrup. I don't know y'all, they just, it makes them so good. Add a little bit more cinnamon. And then we're going to top it with some marshmallows. Put the lid on it and let it sit for about 30 minutes. And the marshmallows will get nice and melted. And y'all, these were so good. I feel like this would be the best thing for a holiday to take and just have in a crock pot. It, these were great. I will definitely be making these again. Here's what we got, y'all. We got the delicious mashed sweet potatoes. We got some boxed mac and cheese, super simple. <laughs> we got some sister shoe rolls and our ribs. This was such a delicious dinner. So I have got five boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. And I'm gonna be making some pesto chicken. We're gonna serve it over some frozen ravioli with some garlic bread. Y'all, this recipe is so easy and it literally takes two to three hours to cook. 
That's the best thing about these boneless skinless chicken thighs. It takes no time in the slow cooker to cook these. So all you're gonna need is your boneless skinless thighs and then a jar of pesto. This is 6.5 ounces. And then you're just gonna add the whole thing in there. Now I've shared this recipe before. This is one of our favorites and it is so easy. So you're just gonna dump this whole jar in here Put the lid on it, let it cook for about two, two to four hours. And then you're gonna come back, shred the chicken, and then serve it over the pasta, like I said. This is one of those ones that does not look very appetizing, but it tastes really good. If you love pesto, I would definitely give this one a try. And you can also use the sun-dried tomato pesto. You don't have to have the regular green basil pesto. We've done it both ways. We like it both ways. But I'm telling y'all, this is a quick, easy, summertime crock pot recipe. So I'm gonna put the lid on it, set it on low, let it cook for about three to four hours, and dinner will be done. There's what it looks like, y'all. So we're just gonna shred it up. And we are gonna have some Texas toast garlic bread and some cheese ravioli to go with it. I just boil this according to package directions. I do do salty water. You always want nice salty water whenever you're cooking pasta. So cook those up and we'll be ready to serve it up. So for my noodles, I just cook them according to the package, drain them, and then I add in a couple tablespoons of butter and some Parmesan cheese. Just mix them together. And that's it. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoy these two super simple, easy, and delicious summertime crock pot recipes. Definitely give these two a try. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. But I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.